Okay, welcome to Gen Known Tutorial. Number 6 tayo ng ating mga supplementary problems. Okay, we have here y minus x plus uh, xy cotangent x dx plus x dy is equal to 0. Alam naman na natin, ang uh, unang gagawin ay ang general form. So, i-arrange na natin by multiplying the whole equation into 1 over dx. So, makakancel daw, magiging 1 at makakaroon tayo ng dx dito. At uh, kailangan matanggal na rin tong uh, x na to by uh, multiplying also 1 over x. So, mag bali makakaroon tayo ngayon ng y minus x plus xy o tangent x all over by x plus dy over dx is equal to 0. Ayan. May x tayo dito. May x tayo dito. Dito ay wala. So, bali makakaroon tayo ngayon ng y all over by x minus 1 plus y o tangent x plus dy over x is equal to 0. Ilipat natin itong negative 1 sa kabila. Magkakaroon tayo ng positive 1. At ay factor out natin ng y. So, y. 1 over x plus cotangent x plus sa dy over dx is equal to positive 1. Ayan. So, i-arrange natin sa alam natin form. We have dy over dx uh, plus y. 1 over x plus cotangent x is equal to 1. So, ito na ang ating general form. Ang p and q value naman, we have p value. px tayo no, is equal to 1 over x uh, plus cotangent x. Para naman sa qx natin, we have positive 1. Okay, integrating factor naman, we have integrating factor is equal to uh, e raised to integral of uh, px we have integral of 1 over x plus cotangent x dx so equal to e integral of dx over x we have ln x plus the uh, integral of cotangent x we have um, ln sin x so simplify natin itong form na to balang kakaroon ngayon tayo ng e ln x multiplied by sin x by uh, properties of logarithm so magiging integrating factor natin is equal to x sin x. Okay? May integrating factor na tayo. So, next na gagawin ay ang integration part. We have integrating. We have y multiply by d integrating factor. We have x sin x is equal to integral of integrating factor. We have x sin x multiply by the qx is equal to 1. So, hindi na kailangan ilagay dx plus c. Okay? Para sagutin to, gagamit tayo ngayon ng Integration by parts. We have t. Ganto ako magsagot na ng integration by parts. We have x. Uh, sin x dx. Uh, derivative lang na x. No? Dx. Ito ay uh, integral of uh, sin x. We have negative cos d. We have negative cos x. So y x sin x is equal to so positive x. Multiply by negative cosine x. So, bali magkakaroon tayo. So, bali magkakaroon tayo ngayon ng negative uh, x cosine x uh, minus the integral of negative cosine dx. So, negative cos dx uh, plus c. Ayan. So, bali y x sine y is equal to negative x cosine x and minus multiply by uh, minus we have positive um, we have integral of cosine x okay ayan cosine x we have sine x plus c so bali makakaroon tayo ngayon ng x y sine y is equal to c plus sine x minus x cosine x ito na ang ating uh, final answer well, kung ito yung nakatulong sa inyo, huwag siya kakalimutan mag-like, share, and subscribe. At i-click na rin yung notification bell para kayo ma-notify sa ating mga bagong YouTube tutorials.